Making pottery, it, first of all, it, it's primal. It's a history that goes back thousands of years. Uh, it's also forever. That's what archeologists find when they start digging up tombs and stuff, it's forever. Some very early person sat at a riverbank, played in the mud, made this pot, left it in the sun. You're tying yourself back to thousands of years of history. I opened the Island Pottery Studio because I knew I, uh, I loved pottery, I loved teaching, and so uh, it just, everything kind of fell into place. I really wanted people to feel it's a bright place, a welcoming place, some place you want to come to, and I think most important, a safe place. <laughs> we offer either a hand-building class or a wheel class, and the minimum is four weeks. We meet once a week, and then I offer kids classes, and I enjoy them. It gives me a chance to sculpt. We do functional items with them, which is important, uh, but they're, they don't get, you know, let's make an animal today, and I, I usually try to structure it. It's gotta be some kind of theme to it so that it gets them thinking within a limit, but not squashing the creativity. Island Pottery Studio is really welcoming, you know, because um, from the moment you walk in, everyone's, you know, trying to get to know you, want to be friends with you. It's really more than a uh, art studio, it's, it's more of like a, a community of people. I also use this place as a break from the norms of the day. For the two and a half hours you're in class, you can't think about anything else except what you're doing, and it's like a mini vacation. Uh, one of my favorite pieces I recently made was a uh, teapot kind of pushed me out of my comfort zone. My students are great. <laughs> I don't know how I did it, but I've got the best people walking in the door. They're enthusiastic. Everyone needs the arts in some way. I have some people who, um, who, who just have incredible stories to tell. They're people who want to be doing this and enjoy it. Um, they're fun. We have so little control over our lives these days. And it's nice to come in here and have the control over that, to be able to create something. You made it. It's all yours. You know, it, start, it could have been a bowl of mud, it wasn't. You made it into something.